Absolutely sending it over that. Oh! 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 oh, Douglas! oh no! Oh! Motors. Tiny little motors coming together. Matt's working on that. More importantly though, he's working on the kit car. Kit car is coming back together, boys. It's a big deal. This is, uh, I guess gonna be like my race car now. Maybe everybody's race car. The people's race car? The people's race car. Am I the people? You're the people. You can drive this thing if you want. Oh, neat. People paid for it, dude. People can race it. That'd be cool. Yeah, very cool. So. This is my X3, if you guys don't know, this is a 2021 Smart Shocks Maverick X3 XRS. It's got a ton of cool stuff on it. These uh, ZRP billet trailing arms. Solid billet. It's got some cool S3 tree kickers on it. And most importantly up front, LSK X Travel. So I ran this thing down in Florida at Cle Cletus McFarland's race ages ago. Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit to get her running again. You got a new car that kind of took, you know, the spotlight and then, but now it's back on this car. Yeah, so no more doing this stuff. <clears throat> and a lot more just having fun. So got the kit light on it, that's uh, very important. And then Doug's over there working on the front end, getting all that stuff figured out so we can get the front end back on this thing and make a hero lap. Yeah, she was crunched up pretty good. So yeah, uh, yeah I want to see this thing out on our track. We haven't had it on our track yet. The track wasn't even, it didn't even exist. It's a good point. You know, so. It's a very good point. So I got 33s on it, not really the track tires I want, but we'll start there and we can only improve with the uh, smaller, flatter tires. I, I don't think, think those. those. <laughs> maybe, that might actually be kind of cool. All sorts of stuff's been working on on this sucker. It's got a fresh turbo on it. It's got a fresh cut head, uh, all sorts of crap. Head but studs. Head studs. So hopefully keep it from blowing up again. Yep. All Evo too. Side-by-sideblogparts.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the good best stuff. stuff. The best stuff. Yeah. Now this might seem like a waste of oil, but I promise you, this motor is full of crud. Yeah, yeah. When that blew the head gasket and then sat for a long time, the coolant like crystallized and stuff in the cylinders and the head and places where it shouldn't be. So when I took it all apart, there was just garbage everywhere. <laughs> it so, was so nasty. Yeah. It looked like gelatin inside of the motor. So what I'll typically do is. You know, I got a fresh filter in it. We're going to do fresh oil. We're going to run it up to temperature, drain that oil we just put in to kind of flush everything out. There's a lot of little oil passages and like these engines are built like a Swiss watch. All right, the so the key's in there. Matt okay. has this theory that the exhaust is still full of coolant, so it's going to smoke a lot. And then he also has this theory that if you floor the gas, it'll put it into what mode? It should go into clear flood mode, which will uh, keep the fire, uh, fuel injectors from firing so I can crank it for a while to build some oil pressure because I took the side cover off which has the oil filter in it and stuff so all of that is dry right now. You're going to want oil in so that. I might be wrong so we'll see. <laughs> it might just rev to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it revs to the moon that's probably bad for a fresh motor. Yeah you ready? Yeah. Ooh. We need to uh, put a battery charger on this. Sucker's <laughs> dead. All right, here we go, folks. Amongst everything else. Will it start, dude? This is your classic will it start video. Well, we gotta get her to crank first. Will it crank? Okay, so see there, if you floor it, this is drown mode. Please, motor. Please, motor. Ah, there we go. Top end cleaned up. are crazy. Well, she's running. I think I got a little exhaust leak. The one clamp was kind of fighting me, so. But. Why are these motors so crazy? Like. The engine itself sounds good. Yeah, cylinder head off, cylinder head cut, totally cooked. Put it back together, it sounds like it was never touched. It seems okay. Yeah, the top end was a little rattly, but it came back around. No smoke either. Yeah, we're just too busy. Yeah. Like Matt's car, perfectly 
up to. I'm sure it sucks itself down. I gotta add more. But uh, yeah, ideally it's good to go. Front end time, baby. Done. Dude, <laughs> easy. Looks like you got some sun this weekend, brother. What were you doing? I unfortunately am completely cooked. I might have sun poisoning. It's not clear to me. So, you know, you go out smarter than this. You're like, ah, it's cloudy. It's not that bad. I'll just hang out for a couple hours. Well, then I'll start drinking. Then I'll hang out for eight hours in the sun. And now we're sunscreen. And then go to an event the next day that you think is going to be 40 minutes. Turns into four hours. Hang out in the sun without sunscreen some more. Basically die. So that's where I'm at currently. But Wait, what were you doing though? <laughs> side trip out here today, up in Traverse City, Michigan, down the Sherry Festival, and we got our boy Brian here. Hey everybody, how's it going? Because the Thunderbirds are flying today, so we are about to see a show. I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen here. I was given earplugs, told I should probably wear them. spectacular air show so what I thought was gonna be like sub one hour turned into multiple hours which was awesome and I'm glad it did but I failed myself <laughs> that one again so I'm not doing great but uh, that's okay we're here I'm excited to see the sucker rip again I pieced together some stuff from the back that's still really bad but not quite as bad as it okay. was so hopefully the front end will be like more attached to the car this time as long as it's in one piece which it looks like we're getting to that point. We're good. We're gonna be solid. We're gonna be solid. Nick Seuss is saying leftover residue. I was there that night. I saw some stuff I didn't enjoy. I think it's the rest of the leftover res. We should have started with the muffler unhooked so we knew for sure. Yeah. There's some res, bud. I, I wish there was smell vision It smells just like waffles it smells and syrup. It's like someone took the syrup that's on all of our desks and poured it inside. I was wondering why my smart shocks light was on. All right, that's what that is. It would 
be because all the wires for it ripped out. Likely when I crashed into the other guy. Yeah, I think that's when it happened. <laughs> Hit him with that one liner. You want some ice with that cappuccino, Matt? This is why we do this. Uh, there's still some coolant in places that oil should be in oil only. Sure. So you can see that in what's draining out. Yeah, Mike, what sort of blown motor looks like? You wouldn't know. 270 to the tire on a stock Maintenance, motor. man. Funny how that just keeps motors going and going. I got to blow out my clutches, guys. I can't, I can't get out of the shop without blowing out these clutches. How many, out of all the videos we were watching, Nick, how many times have I been stranded? None. I can't think of a time. Exactly. How I've never, listen to this, right? This? I have many? never actually blown a belt, ever. How many trips okay. has he been on? How, yeah, you've had that same car. It's probably got less than a thousand miles it's on it. It's got two thousand. He gave you the hard miles. finger. He gave you one of these, dude. He's <laughs> never even been riding with us. What do you mean? I can't wait to see that thing blow up in Glamis. I can't wait to see that thing blow up September 23rd at UTV awesome. Invasion, dude. Come find us there. It's going to be a good time. Come find us there and help Mike Reed. <laughs> blow up his car. <laughs> Hey, 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 what are you doing? Halt. Don't look at my holes, dude. I'm trying to fill a sucker up. This is supposed to be my day with my car, okay? Your guys' day is every other time. What are you doing? Hello, Leo, my old friend. My turbo rust is going to whoop your ass again. <laughs> Not if our asses get whooped by battle. <laughs> dude. I got the tires on, so we're going to see what we can do. I don't know. I heard somebody was bringing a race car to this party, though. Gosh race darn car? it. Come on. <laughs> I'm on 33s, man. Trail. I gotta set up some excuses, man. Come That's on, okay. Just let me have it. I haven't driven that thing in ages. This originally started with me and you. So you're doing it? I'm or? You guys okay. want this, dude. Be Listen, my guest. You two can really solid. give it to each other. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mike? No, Mike? We definitely Mike? See this Mike? Out there. I can't wait to watch this front end just grenade off this thing. Yeah, it's already <laughs> falling apart just sitting here. What do you mean? <laughs> what? What the heck are you guys talking about? Why are this, you bothering with this thing? This is going to be your car in no time. Big rock, radiator, overheat. Yeah, it's done. Sucker's done. dead. Over. The radiator's already cracked. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this thing ready to go? Matt, please. Perfect. I thought we took away his endorsement to drive that thing. Yeah, he just sort of went over there and did it, so who's to say what's gonna happen justin's on vacation because it's fourth of july which i think is a noble time to take a vacation but we're all here otherwise anyway steve you brought the talent yeah i really just wanted to practice the track a little bit fair Here's enough a good day to rip some fair enough fair enough makes sense mike what's your plan out here bud 272 wheel horsepower you're up on everyone by roughly 75 horsepower well, the main goal is just keep it on all four that's well, how you guarantee a rollover. I don't know if I'd have said that or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a comment about having too much power and probably rolling. Then I decided, ah, you know what? I won't even say it, but he just did it for nah, me. So. Get those things out of the way. It's smooth sailing after that. All right, bet. Good luck out there. All right, it's uh, 4th of July. Mike's got the UTV Invasion shirt on. You know yeah, the deal. Here's what we're going to do. Some of us are new to the track. Some of us haven't ran cars out here. True. We have cars they haven't driven in six months. True. So we're going to go out, allow the first. The lap won't be a qualifier, but you're gonna allow one lap around real quick, get a feel for it. When you hit this back berm and you come through, it's game on. Once you hit this point, timer starts, qualify lap. One lap per person. We're gonna figure out qualifier. From there, I'm not 100% so sure we're doing. I think two twos, I don't know. I thought so we were going five wide. We're going five five. Right, we're going five yeah. wide then. It's so. Fourth of July. Steve said yeah, it. I'm not gonna take part unless we went five wide. That's what we're doing. <laughs> well, okay, then it'll be four wide. wide then. So, uh, yeah. Who wants to uh, start? I might as well see if this thing's gonna work. Perfect. Not bad. All right, flying qualifier. Whoa! That thing sounds excellent. Yeah, it's running really good. Oh yeah. Little nose are there. It looks really oh. good nose around the corners. Yeah, it looks fast. the poop on the pancake but I saw some track cutting already dude <laughs> wow it goes through there fast it is friggin dusty boys it's bad dusty might need 
need some water. Well, you want it's so weird. <laughs> like compared to the friggin' Pro R, this thing is a straight race car, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that Pro R is not good in the corners compared to this as the way I have it set up. Anyway. You want to hear the time? Sure, whatever. Uh, you have now the fastest time around this track by a country mile and three quarters at least, maybe two country miles. <laughs> two country miles. We are in Auburnish. 38.19 seconds. Wow. We have never timed a fast car though. So you guys are going to really do a good job out here. Michael Reed. Got to warm her up. Wow, the dust is pretty serious. You guys are right. Oh, Whoa. You, literally the front end. you can't give it power over that in the next three. You gotta just roll it. Yeah, I found that out pretty quick. All right, it's coming in for the beginning of this time lap. You see this car do the old X3 rear end shuffle around that berm right there. Okay, I'm getting my thumb from here. Wow. She's flying. Because he's letting off the gas right at the face of the jump. Did it pull a wheelie out of that corner? Man. What the hell was that? Easy. Yeah, he learned on that. Okay. One. Man, that's got him spooked. I mean, it did stuff the front end. That's pretty For spooky. sure, yeah. I know he's going to be able to put in a tremendous amount of speed at the end here. Wow. <laughs> Good goes halfway down that straight. Yesterday, this track was pure mud. I thought today would be okay. Today, it's now pure dust. How's that possible? Dude, the sun, it's the craziest thing. Mr. Nose himself, dude. <laughs> the nose knows. <laughs> Man. Might be a bit much for this track. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> you basically gapped the entire humane society off the little kicker here, so you're good. Wow. Well, one good thing about it is it didn't really affect your time too much because you made so much speed. You're still in the 40 club. 39.78. Nice job. Okay, okay. Felt like I had to pedal a lot. Also, wasn't sure how that looked. But I was looking at the ground a lot. Well, oh, it, it looks like you uh, <laughs> are. It looks like you dug. Yeah, she's there. not jumping that good right now. It's a it's a dune setup. Listen, I didn't I don't even know even here if I was 100% full throttle until like straightened out here. It's mm. just a ton I of mean, power you to land it over there. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> coming out of that corner, I'm I can't ha like hammer it because I'm trying to steer the thing out, and I'm like, oh god, it's just insane amount of speed, very quick. What boys up next? The famous Nick Zeus. But it does absolutely fly around the track. Big turbo. Probably the best jumping car out of the fleet. Look at that. Wow. Insane. He's going to create a tremendous amount of speed here. Nick Seuss. The Seuss is loose. Oh my gosh, that thing flies. He goes so big over this. <laughs> Had to check out midway through the berm there. Not the fastest way around the track. Alright, he's looking good around this corner. Car didn't sound super happy. Wow. The time was great. 168, good girl. She's a good girl. How did it feel around the track? Turns out I didn't have any four wheels, that's why I stopped. Well, it's a tough break that you got a 20 second penalty due to that little mix up in qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, otherwise you'd have been P1 with a 3809. Other, uh, yeah, second mixer, dude. He's gonna have to start seven laps under. Sorry, man. <laughs> Five second penalty, you got a black and white flag. Yeah, I'll talk to the freaking uh, Stewart. Now it's not the end of this, those guys are done. I wish everyone else in the group watched F1. Anyway, having said that, <laughs> P1, good job, big dog. Proud still of you. got it, dude, she still got it. So we're preparing the water truck. That thing will be waddling its way out here. It still actually hasn't moved yet, so. It's mm. not a good sign. Mm. It's been so that 10 is. minutes, that's okay. A few moments later. <laughs> you put a camera on Nick, he just starts posing. <laughs> uh, so Doug's gonna go out now for his qualifier. The Water truck's got a pop tire, so tough mm -hmm. break. We're gonna have to settle through the dust. Steve, can you live in the dust? 
Yeah, for a couple laps, I can make it. I'm sure he's able to survive. Tough guy. Survive. With Doug, I don't know. Listen, Nick took okay. me. 38.09. Really? Super fast. 168. Still got it, eh? And then Mike, got still got in okay. the sub 40 club. Wow. It's like a 39 something. I forget. Everybody running 30s out here. I feel just a lot of pressure. I don't know if I like this anymore. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is making sure you just floor it over that tabletop. Just floor it. It's eh? the biggest thing. I mean, the advantage you have is your car is not an X3. So just floor it over the tabletop. Mike, he <laughs> nosed out and then drugged the nose. <laughs> he was. Got a little wacky. She was a ways up there. Turtles were on the track, dude. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I trust this advice entirely, so I'm going to tighten my harnesses pretty tight. Smart. All right, man. Your light bar will live. 10 seconds, oh, Boom, oh. got him, dude. Talk to the stewards. He him. said, <laughs> Black and white flag. The tabletop's better than it ever has been, so. Oh, yeah. No problem. I like the sound of all the joints Matt hasn't replaced yet in the <laughs> suspension when he lands. <laughs> Just getting a feel for the line, smart. Yeah, he's smart. really got to get some speed in here. Oh, he's opened up the exhaust. Here he comes. Cross right, start finish oh, through nice. the first berm. Wow, that was excellent. The car got a little upset, but he fixed it. He fixed it with power, which is awesome. Nice yeah, air. Nice Absolutely air. sending it over that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh Douglas! Oh, no! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! Too hard. Woo! Just goes too hard. Oh, the biggest thing is you boy. didn't actually crash it off the tabletop. I, oh wow. Yeah, I know it. Just uh Holy I felt shit. some edges when I was cruising around and thinking, man, like there's some areas where I can get this thing to bite. Yeah. So like I went in thinking like this is gonna be a hero lap and just went a little too far. That was crazy. Your car court e court e cartwheeled, man! <laughs> Hey, I remember, thought I, remember those joints that needed replacing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Holy moly. I thought Whoa. I had it saved for a second and then I saw the edge coming up and I thought, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this one, and then went, oh yeah, couldn't deal with it. <laughs> Frick! Literally oh. ripped both oh, axles out of all the yeah. hubs. We can roll you back over, but I think it's really affected your lap time. <laughs> You're at a minute how? 40 right now. Oh, I can shoot. stop. <sighs> Dang it. We'll stop. The, that was a crazy crash. That was yeah. nuts. Yeah, the berm really made that bad. Yeah. Uh, ouch. The positive thing is your light bar is okay. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Yeah, really sorry. Really sorry. I've mistreated you. You oh, know what? It needed, it, it needed a paint job anyway. Oh, so. That is true. Let's look at the things that finally, didn't actually break, though. Finally time. HCR Elite. Good. Yeah, it really just tore the ball joints out. The arms look fine. The frame wow. looks fine. Frame's fine. Trailing arm's fine. I literally don't think you touched Trailing me. arm's not fine. Son of oh, a bitch. Oh, no. I mean, dude, you were oh, literally holy in crap. the air and you landed on, the, like, that was crazy. Really? It, I didn't think, okay, from in the car, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, your yeah. car cartwheeled. I'm trying to yeah. tell you. Like, your car did not touch the roof, yeah. I don't think. The roof shows no damage of touching. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it just skimmed the yeah. edge of the dude, berm there. That. And then just land it all the way down here. Like if you look at the marks, that yeah. sucks, dude. That does suck. It's actually, yeah, it's probably gonna be way worse once we roll it over. Yeah. Woo! Uh, that trailing that, arm's a man. Like that's a, not a cheap one. That's a big burn. <laughs> I, yeah, I think your problem started way over there. Yeah. You know, because you're two wheeling it and then two wheeled the other way. Because right. this is your mark two wheeling the other so way. So I started right the two wheel right yeah, way like back there. This, and then came back. And then you went. Whoop. Yeah, you had so much momentum too coming off of that freaking jump. Right. Frick, yeah, dude! Like, I think this is where your tire left the ground and didn't touch the rest of the berm, it seems. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> well, yeah, play that back. There's really know. no tracks in this area. That's pretty serious. <laughs> ah, dang it. Man, first track casualty. Holy moly, dude. This sucker's severe. Uh, severe! All right, boys, ready? Three, two. Oh, go. 
just try to hold it on the way down. Oh! Jeez, look at all the coolant. Yeah, it definitely shoved the whole thing into the radiator. Wow, that oh, nose stuck so hard. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you really can't tell how bad it is until it's flipped back. Yeah, that was a bad one, boys. I mean, we put flag brackets out farther because of the hood, so I mean, it's probably at least two inches. <sighs> Holy shoved in. crap. Jeez. Well, I think we got some evaluating to do on this rig. <laughs> Dougal, what do you think, bud? Yeah, unfortunately, that's the uh, the end. I don't know what that means for my qualifying. It probably doesn't leave me in a good place for the race, but <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll drag this thing inside, start tearing it apart. So tune in next time, I guess. And uh, we'll go over what just happened here, <laughs> what we got left to work with. And uh, I don't know, the thing's been pretty beat up already. It was already in rough shape, just took a super bad hit. Comment below, let us know what you think we should do with it. Would you like to see a complete rebuild back to its former glory or is it time to move on, move up? I'm not sure, but uh, thank you guys as always for being a part of it. We wouldn't be out here just uh, having all this fun all the time if it wasn't for you. Wrecking stuff with the ability to fix it, I promise. Didn't wreck it on purpose, wasn't my intention. It happens. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being a part of this and doing all you do to support us and allow us to keep doing this. So if you're watching these videos or you're subscribed or you're donating on Patreon or buying those parts off the parts site or buying that merchandise, we got more of that stuff coming soon, I promise. Buying through that Rocky Mountain Link, all those things you guys do come together and uh, allow us to, to live this dream out here. So happy 4th of July. We had a great time despite the little incident. Hope you guys are too. Mm. We'll see you back here in a couple days. Dude, really sorry. Yeah, it's this fun. looks bad from here. It looks bad from pretty much every angle now. <laughs>